Welcome to the first episode of Ofin for All. In this video, we are going to learn about reverse image search. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's type reverse image search and see what are the results that we are going to get. Sweet, we have few results here. Couple of years ago, if you have searched for reverse image search, probably tin I would have been your first organic search result. Tin I is a famous reverse image search engine. Let's click on it as well. But here our first organic search result is from duplichecker.com. Let's click on it as well. So this is how the classic page of Tin I reverse image search looks like. And this is the reverse image search page of duplichecker.com. So what is the commonality between these two websites? Yes, I think you have already noticed it. Here you can find an upload button. Here also there is an upload button. So what is reverse image search? So reverse image search is an image retrieval process from the internet that has already been uploaded to the internet. Okay, let me try to explain this in plain terms. For example, let's say you have an image and uh, you want to find the origin of that image or you want to find more details of that image. So how you are going to do that? For example, if the reverse image search engines never existed or the concept of CBIR uh, not existed, probably let's say the picture that you found was something like a, a woman holding a glass. So you go to your search engine and if you want to dig deeper, probably you would have done something like women holding a glass. And obviously you would have got a lot of results. Here you can see, oh, my internet is slow or my add-ons. Okay. So here you can find like plethora of images, but the image that you're looking for, can you find that image? I'm not sure because internet is a wild, wild place. And let's say you're sitting in some part of the world and if you're trying to uh, locate an image where uh, the description is only like women holding a glass. So in order to solve this problem, uh, there comes a technology behind all this, you know, reverse image search. It is something called as Content-based image retrieval query. Let's try to understand it further. CBIR. So here it is, content-based image retrieval. It is pointing us to Wikipedia page. So basically this is the technology behind most of the reverse image search engines. It is not exactly artificial intelligence, but probably nowadays, you know, uh, reverse image uh, search engines are utilizing the power of artificial intelligence in order to make their uh, searches more efficient. But the basic idea behind this is content based image retrieval. So it is also called as query by image content cubic and also content based visual information retrieval it's a long name is the application of computer vision techniques to the image retrieval problem that is the problem of searching for digital images in large databases as i already told you let's say if you want to find a woman holding a glass and uh, you have that image maybe you got it from social media or your friend uh, forwarded that image to you it's probably hard for you to go through all the images and to retrieve the exact image uh, from the database. So that is why this content based image retrieval process uh, or query ca um, came into the existence. And let me click on this image so that you can understand the concept uh, really better. So it doesn't mean that uh, whatever the image that you're going to upload to any reverse image search, you're going to get back the exact result like yeah, because uh, it's not like magic. It's not like, you know, you can find anything just by closing your eyes or uploading an image. So it has its, its limitations. We are going to talk about it in this video. So don't worry. So this is what happens uh, in the 
content based image retrieval process. Let's say you upload this image and that is considered as request. That is, let's say you click on this and uh, it will prompt you uh, to your file manager in your computer and you select an image and it will be uploaded to um, the search engine. So here you upload an image and it will calculate the metadata and metadata itself is a very big concept. We are going to talk about metadata in the future videos, but uh, just think metadata is the data of data. What I mean by that, for example, let's say uh, this is a picture. The metadata of this picture could be um, the name of this picture and the dimensions of this picture, the pixels of this picture. And if you're lucky, you can also get the coordinates of this picture and the camera model that this picture has been taken. So that is the major metadata of this picture. So when you upload an image, it will calculate the metadata. In the background, there is a process called as image indexation. It means uh, it is indexing the images as I already told you. The internet is a wild, wild place and your search engine uh, as I already told you about Google, Google is one of the efficient crawlers. It has like lot of images and lot of con content in its database. So what it will do is it will try to index all the images. Okay. And it will try to calculate the metadata as well. So then it will compare the metadata. If this image has the exact metadata as this or some sort of similar metadata is there. Uh, in this image and this uh, and a similar a similar image is also there in their database so that is how it is going to calculate and it will calculate the signatures uh, there will be uh, some sort of digital signatures associated with uh, every image or every data in its database that's the concept of you know like databases we are going to talk about it don't worry <laughs> so uh, then finally, when the metadata is calculated, let's say uh, the database is able to find a similar images and it will try to compare uh, with the original image that you uploaded and it will try to fetch you the similar images. But it doesn't mean that it is going to give you an exact image because what happens is, for example, if there is an image on the internet, that image could be taken and it could be modified in different ways, right? Let's say I download an image from the internet and after that I put that to uh, Photoshop or GIMP and I can try to increase the gradient or, uh, you know, like cut the dimensions. And again, I can upload that to, you know, somewhere uh, out in the internet. So uh, there are a lot of intricacies. So that's why it cannot find the exact image, but it will try to uh, find similar images. Uh, I'm talking about any reverse image search engines. So let's see in practice how this thing works, but this is the concept and it is really important for you to understand the technology behind, you know, the tools which are used in OSINT so that it can help you to, you know, like solve the cases or, you know, find the information that you want in a faster phase and it will also uh, increase your knowledge. So this is what's happening behind the scenes. That is CVIR, Content Based Image Retrieval Query. So there are a lot of reverse image search engines out there and uh, your famous Google also has a reverse image search engine. So Google images. Okay, let's click on this. Oh, my internet is slow. So here you can see the icon. If you click on this icon, it will prompt you with two options. You can paste an image URL or you can also upload an image. So let's click here and say upload an image. I think I already have some images. I'll go to pictures and I have stored some images here. Maybe let's try to find uh, Shakira. Okay. It's uploading and you can also do the same with this one that is dupedichecker.com. You can upload here.
yes and see if it has CBIR very important oh my internet is pretty slow I'm sorry for that and file size is this one search similar image let's see the new one because I haven't used a dupli checker as my reverse image search and it is finding some uh, results here and I think it's pretty helpful because it is giving me the choice of Google Bing and I think this is Yandex and also Tinai. if I click here show matches it will do the same thing that I did on Google images so here you can see this image was taken from Wikimedia if I'm not wrong and it has found the similar images you can see here you can go through it and it also gives you an option to search the same image in Bing images even Microsoft Bing also has uh, reverse image capabilities so here you get some results you can see it has found so this is a very obvious picture because uh, Shakira is a celebrity and everyone knows Shakira and uh, probably she has like a lot of images over the internet but when you're trying to find some images that are you know maybe uh, the images from a fire accident or a war zone it could be difficult because the images would not have been uploaded to the internet okay that is one of the biggest uh, bottleneck or the obstacle so if there is nothing in the database obviously you cannot find anything right but it will try to find some images which are similar so this is how the classic reverse image search works you can go through all these images if you want but here is a recommendation uh, this add-on is very helpful and this is called as search by image search by image add-on I think this is yeah this is there on Firefox you can also uh, download it on Chrome Chromium Brave or whatever so what it does is okay let me show you it will do the same thing as this like you upload an image and it will give you some option in order to find the uh, similar image in all these uh, search engines Google Bing Yandex and Tinai and yeah Baidu and stuff so this add-on is very helpful because it will give you an option to search the same image at the same time on Google Bing Yandex Baidu uh, Sogu I think Sogo is from South Korea and Tinai and Shuttershock and Alami. Alami is pretty good. I have used it in order to find some images. Maybe we are going to talk about it uh, someday. So let's try to, okay, I don't know. This is a random article. Let's click on it and let's try to see the reverse image search that is search by image add-on in action. Oh, my internet is slow or I think my add-ons are blocking a lot of things, a lot of JavaScript and stuff. Okay, let's take uh, this image of um, Shakira. Okay, let's click on this image. Okay, now what I can do is I can right click here and I can go to this option that is search by image and I can select individually that if I want to find the similar image on the Google, Bing, Yandex, Baidu, Sogu, Shuttershock and Alami or I can click this. This will find the similar image simultaneously across all these search engines that it has provided. Let's click on it and I hope my computer would not freeze see you can see the magic that it is expanding my tabs are increasing oh my god I think this is going to break my computer
So here you can see Bing and uh, Google Images, Yandex, and I don't know, I think this is uh, Baidu. I can see some, sorry, this is Sogu. And Shutterstock and all these things. So this is how this uh, search by image add-on works. It's a pretty helpful add-on. I think if you have this add-on, you don't have to, you know, directly go to uh, any Google image search or anything. You can directly uh, click on that image if you find an image on the social media and you can try to uh, find the images with all these search engines. Now let's talk about uh, a famous search engine, reverse search engine, I mean to say, is Yandex. So Yandex is quite famous because um, many of the results that I have found uh, is through Yandex. I don't know, like their algorithm works uh, really well. And uh, Yandex also has like a lot of features which I'm going to uh, teach you. So it is giving me some results in Russian. Maybe if you use some translate, uh, translate this page, uh, the page will be translated. So I'll tell you some uh, cool features of Yandex. Okay, let's pick an image. Maybe let me make it white. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with uh, white. I'm comfortable with black because that's the thing which is prevalent in the world. Outer space is black. Okay, uh, sorry for my ramblings. Anyway, so I'll show you a feature of Yandex, which is pretty helpful, which could be pretty helpful if you're kind of investigating um, some case which involves uh, texts from different language and if you want to find it. And Yandex also gives this a uh, sweet feature. You can also crop this area and you can also, sorry. Again, it is finding my bad. You can crop this area and uh, Cropping also has its advantages because let's say um, there is a crowd and you want to find a face or a similar image of a particular person so that you can crop it and you can also click here and if it can retrieve the things, it will retrieve. But here we don't get much of the information because as I already told you, Shakira is a celebrity and uh, probably she has like a lot of um, images so here you can find the news articles or the social media articles which have been written about Shakira. So reverse image search is mostly used in fact checking. Okay, I'll tell you how. Okay, in the uh, in the next uh, section, but uh, let me show you an advantage of Yandex over other reverse image search engines. Okay, let me close this. So now let me select a different image and I'll show you a magic, okay? So let me go to pictures, images, and probably I haven't deleted that image. Um, okay, yeah. So this is an image that I downloaded from Wikimedia. wait and watch wow so let me do it dark because i cannot tolerate white so here you can see i found this image randomly on the internet and here when i uploaded this image yandex gave me an opportunity in order to um, gather the text inside this image you can see the images oh, sorry you can see the text in the image so Spanish and all these things. And you can also click here in order to translate. That will take you to Yandex Translate. As Google, Yandex has its own, uh, you know, like translate feature. I think uh, this is very similar that you have found on uh, the Google Translate. So here it is saying, okay, this is some Basque. Maybe you can change the language, uh, something like, let's say this is uh, Spanish. Where is Spanish? 
okay it's spanish and we want the result uh, not in russian maybe in uh, english yeah so it translates so this is a very helpful feature and it is kind of inbuilt uh, for yandex and uh, don't get carried away because this particular ima image has some qualities so that it can kind of uh, fetch the text in image uh, there is a technology something called as ocr uh, okay wait i'll show you oc okay. online ocr okay yeah uh, try to learn the technology behind uh, the OSINT tool so that you can do better OSINT because you'll be aware and you can cut your time uh, simply uh, you know like wasting your time by searching unnecessary things and trying to discover some things okay uh, OCR is a uh, OCR is optical character recognition and uh, Yandex also has its own uh, OCR that is optical uh, character recognition and it is not a new technology it has been since you know quite few years maybe a decade uh, so what it does is it will try to take all the it will try to recognize uh, the words in an image and it will try to fetch that in a text form for example, uh, let's take this example. Mm -hmm. This is an important website, onlineocr.net. Not only here, uh, Yandex, you can also put the same image here. It will also try to fetch the image, but I will try to take a different image. Uh, let's see, and pictures, uh, images, uh, word. Okay, this is something that I took. And word has, yeah, it's a screenshot uh, you can see it is a png so from png it will try to convert that into text here you can choose uh, microsoft word excel uh, but let me choose a uh, plain text so it is converting yes sweet you can see that word of the day unabashed the meaning of unabashed is so this is what uh, this word screenshot consisted okay I don't want to lie to you maybe I can show you okay my terminal is taking some time my internet is slow okay let's do something like this um, okay let's uh, see that image so this is the folder that i am so uh, i want to show you something so this is metadata i think uh, we discussed metadata a few minutes ago so uh, here is how a metadata of an image file looks like for example exif tool it is kind of inbuilt uh, to my ranger ranger is a, a terminal based uh, file manager so it has its default exif tool and you can see the file name and uh, directory in what directory it is and um, file size and it will also show you the modification date uh, all these things are metadata so when you upload an image uh, to the database of reverse image search engine so it will try to calculate all these metadata and try to compare it with the similar signatures and if it finds some sort of uh, metadata if the metadata is matching then it is going to provide you an image which is kind of similar so where was it um, it was word right okay let me do this yeah so you can see here so this is the same thing that it uh, kind of converted the screenshot into uh, text here you can see word of the day and abashed so here also you can see so this is the capability of OCR or optical character recognition and it is inbuilt to uh, Yandex images 
And I'm not saying that this could be perfect always. Sometimes even if you upload an image or even if you take a screenshot of a video and if you want to convert that image, you have to um, uh, be aware of it because OCRs always doesn't give you the exact result. Um, again, it depends on the file format and sometimes the file is not uh, properly uh, made or yeah, it could have like a lot of things and the OCR that is built uh, into the Yandex might not be able to, you know, find things. Uh, I think I had this experience. Uh, let me show you. Let me try to upload an image. Even though it consists of uh, some sort of a text in the image, it is not going to give me a proper results. You have to be aware of it. Yeah, just don't uh, kind of recommend for everyone. Oh, you know, like uh, Yandex has this um, feature and uh, if it doesn't work, okay. And don't spread the news that, oh, Yandex, um, you know, OCR doesn't work properly. Don't use Yandex, okay. Always there will be limitations. Please understand this. Okay, I think uh, Espanol, maybe this one. Uh, yeah, this Chinese language. And it's also in PNG and uh, try to upload PNG images because uh, in my experience PNG images uh, could be characterized uh, properly. So here it is saying like incorrect format, uh, try uploading an image in PNG, JPG, GIF or whatever. So yeah, the same problem here you can see that uh, it is in PNG but still it is not uh, taking my uh, input. Yeah. As I told you, there will be some sort of formatting error or, you know, uh, there will be some characteristics missing out what uh, the OCR of Yandex is looking for. So you can use this one that is onlineocr.net or you can find any, you know, other OCR optical character recognition is the technology behind this. And you can try to convert um, the image uh, into text like this. And this is uh, Yandex. So now let's try to understand some of the concepts in uh, what is it? Reverse image search. Before that, go to my start page. I am uploading all the resources here. You can, uh, I'm going to provide this link below this video. You are going to uh, get all the resources. You don't have to take notes just follow the things. Uh, these are the things that I wanted to cover. I have this habit of not, you know, like uh, taking notes or not uh, sticking to some of the tools. Yeah, I try to remember most of the times, but uh, this is also a good way. I'm making a video uh, so that I can also compile all the resources that I find useful. Yeah, it's a win-win situation. You can find these resources and I can also have a notes. Uh, so I think we have covered all these things. Okay, let's put it here in the start. As I already told you that uh, when we are investigating or when we are doing um, reverse image search, there would be like a lot of intricacies, right? Uh, for that, uh, intricacies in the sense, for example, let's say uh, there is an image uh, that's the only image that is available and you have to find some information about that image or the incident but that image is uh, quite blurry so you cannot uh, find anything uh, from that image for that you can use something called as uh, Rimini I don't know how it is pronounced I'm just saying it uh, Rimini and um, you can read this about page always try to have more and more information about a tool and try to understand the technology behind that tool uh, just don't you know try to go on social media and say oh this is a tip this is a new discovery it is not like that open source data is you know uh, it's widespread and uh, the tools you just have to spend some time with the tools so that you can find the intricacies about the tool okay that is uh, open source intelligence anyway so this uh, remini.ai uh, as you can see here, it can kind of turn the image, the blurry image into more clearer image. So we are going to see this in action uh, in few seconds. 
you have to go to this app.remini.ai because uh, this is the web version or if you just go to remini.ai.com you cannot find it remini.ai directly go to app.remini.ai so that it can give you the web interface so now let's try to uh, find some blur images i already have downloaded or i have made it blur even i'll show you how to make images blur yeah because maybe sometimes it might also give you some sort of information so this is the actual remini.ai page looks if you go to the bottom i think uh, there i think this is an app mm. But if you want to find the web version, as I told you, go to app.remini.ai. Anyway, we are uploading a blur image. We'll go to pictures and uh, images. So Shakira blur. Okay. Sweet. Enhancing the file and it's a blur image that I uploaded. I made it blur so now it is uh, this was the image that I uploaded before so I uploaded this image and now it is giving me the beautiful face so don't get carried away because it doesn't mean that it is going to give you the exact face of the person and it will be accurate it will be nearly accurate this image was very clear and the resolution was really good that is the reason why it was able to kind of make it look beautiful so i will show you the original picture and you can see that uh, if it looks uh, properly or not you can make your own guess uh, Okay, my things are really slow today. Let's close this so that, yes. So here you can see and uh, try to compare it. Maybe I can put it here in this. So now if you can see uh, this face is not exactly the original face, but it looks kind of uh, clearer. See, you can see it is enhancing the image. It means uh, the artificial intelligence or the algorithms, it is just trying to recreate that face, okay, using some sort of algorithms. That is what it is doing. So that it doesn't mean that every time it is going to give you nearly accurate uh, picture, it might also be different in some cases. This case, is, uh, this case is ideal so that you are able to get uh, somewhat clearer images because uh, this doesn't look exactly like Shakira or the original photo of Shakira. So that's the thing. And how this could be uh, helpful in other cases. For example, now I'm just trying to find uh, a face uh, and what are the other areas that you can expand this to. Um, I'll show you, for example, upload new. This would be helpful when you are doing your investigations. Images, um, maybe, what is it? Not this, not this. Okay, number blur. Yeah, and now you can see the limitation of uh, this uh, Remini.ai. So uh, this is the original image and uh, by adding this image to uh, Remini.ai, we are, we are getting this image. You can see, yeah, it, it hasn't done like a lot of things. Yeah, uh, even in this image, from this image, you can figure out this is, you know, W or H and B and 0, 06 and F569, uh, but it has kind of enhanced this one, the eye of the image, and this could be the potential lead for your case. As I already told you that it has its limitations. Every time it is not going to uh, kind of give you the exact results. Uh, this one is enhanced, this uh, W or H is enhanced, and it is also enhancing this part of the image, that is, you can see the two eyes. So that is the use case of uh, Remini.ai or app.remini.ai. It's a web interface. So next tool that I have to show you is something called as Pine Tools. Oh, this website is pretty underrated. You can do a lot of things. 
I think if you want to do some color grading and all the other things, if you want to add some pixels or if you want to remove some pixels, you can use this uh, pine tools. I like it because it has multiple use cases. As you can see, uh, maybe when uh, we are doing some sort of geolocation and thing, maybe you can uh, we can use these kind of things, area calculator and percentage and all these kind of things. As you can see here, you can see a lot of things, mathematics, colors. If you click on colors, Yeah, and this is the section where our reverse image search could find some value. For example, if you want to make an image like uh, grayscale, if you want to lighten color or if you want to darken color, you can do this. And my favorite feature among all this is like uh, invert color because sometimes, uh, yeah, I'll be doing some sort of graphic designing and uh, I want uh, an inverted image. Um, quickly so that I use this feature a lot that is inverter color and uh, this is also very useful random color generator and blend colors gradient generator you have like a lot of things let's try to see um, how this works maybe invert color okay here it is um, we are here and this is inverted color where is i think my computer is uh, pretty slow okay let's try to refresh this and see there should be something in order to upload here i had tested this a few days ago but i don't know why it is not giving but this tool uh, pine tools is uh, really helpful you can find like a lot of things and if you're into uh, some sort of uh, reverse engineering or that kind of thing, there is also a section, something called as you can uh, create some corrupt data. Maybe it is in programming section or files. You can find plenty of uh, plenty of these things. Just play around this website. Uh, you can learn like a lot of things. You can find syntax, uh, highl uh, syntax highlighter and uh, CSS beautifier and all those things. And if you come to files, I think this is where you find like a lot of things. You can uh, split the files and you can uh, encode it. Yeah, and this is my favorite section. Uh, I use it sometimes that is uh, corrupt file generator and random file generator, corrupt a file. Yeah, it is going to stuff your file with some random, you know, like garbage data. And after that, you can try to, you know, like reverse engineer that and all that kind of fun stuff. So even if you go to videos, it has some features. So screen recorder, yeah, which I do not recommend because uh, I had some problems uh, when I was just playing around this. So you can use some other um, screen recorders if you're uh, Linux. Okay, uh, this says, yeah, this website is pretty helpful. Uh, you can do text manipulation, you can do like color manipulation and you can invert a color and all that kind of stuff. Okay, it is just showing uh, this is the color and if you invert that, it is giving you this RGB table and it is saying when you invert what happens, right? For example, um, let me show you an example. For example, mm, this is my PDF. I think uh, these are the same tools uh, which has been provided in the Start Me page and yeah, now if I invert the color, okay, the blue becomes yellow, right? Or for me, it is yellow. I don't know how it is looking for you. So uh, this is what this feature is doing. If you try to uh, invert this color, this particular X number, it could be, uh, and the X number changes as you play around it. And this is a very uh, nice feature in order to understand how the uh, inversion in the images or the color works. This website is gold and you can go and check this out. I think this website uh, is kind of underrated. I don't know. Um, so Remini and uh, Pine Tools are done. So now next, uh, one of my favorite um, websites that is something called as Cleanup Pictures. And always remember, try to find your own 
you know like uh, tools or websites which you are comfortable i am showing you this because uh, these are some things that i found out and i use like commonly and uh, many other websites could also do the same thing as inverting a color maybe uh, you can also comment uh, or you can write to me about a similar website something like pine tools where you can get to manipulate text and also play with numbers and all that kind of things there will be many websites right so that is the concept of open data or or the internet like you have like a lot of options more than people right so cleanup pictures is really helpful i'll show you how i will take an image um, i will go to my images and maybe this time we are going to select hrithik hrithik roshan yes now you can see the uh, magic of cleanup pictures i can just wipe this thing so give it some time it is taking its time so now it's gone and let me wipe this switzerland i couldn't do that fully yeah now the switzerland is gone so this could be helpful for example let's say uh, you get an image and if you want to do the reverse search in that image and there are like lot of noises behind that image what i mean to say is there is lot of uh, other colors and it is not helping your reverse search engine to detect the face or anything like that uh, for that what you can do is uh, you can use these kind of website something like cleanup pictures um, that kind of website and you can try to you know remove the background things which are uh, kind of messy so that you can just upload the image without any noise or without any yeah you can use this and after that now you can right click and you can try to find a search by image maybe through google or yandex okay select an image yeah maybe this image yeah it's nice this is a new discovery for me yeah when you are on clean up pictures yeah when you have uh, cleaned the picture it will give you an option do you want to select the original image or if you want to select the morph image obviously oh my god so now you can see this uh, the result is uh, something new for example if i try to um, upload the hrithik roshan's image the same image uh, now it is telling that it is trying to find some similarities between like chris evans and tom cruise see this is how the image reverse image search engines work uh, metadata is very important and also it might give you like random results and varied results uh, you just have to play along with it and there is nothing called as absolute in you know like reverse image search sometimes you are able to find it sometimes you are not able to find it as i told you there is a lot of limitation the first limitation is the image has the image or the frame has to be present in the database if there is no evidence of that image you cannot find it and the other thing is when uh, you are playing with these kind of uh, you know like search engines it is not open source we are going to talk about open source like uh, what i mean to say is you cannot see the code what is the code that is running behind because google is a proprietary company and it is um, not giving out its um, you know like source code especially how their cbir uh, system works so that you cannot exactly tell how it is uh, interpreting its data so it is really important to understand this concept because or else you can try to misguide someone no do this okay just you know try to um, remove some of the background things and after that no come on every image is different every situation is different and every uh, you know like search query that you upload to the uh, search engine is different so that's why be aware of this uh, let's try to uh, upload the original image of hrithik roshan without um cleaning up anything so images and uh, hrithik hrithik okay this is the image i don't know why google search image is 
okay it's interesting because it is trying to uh, kind of relate that to chris evans versus tom cruise i don't know why because uh, i think a um, few days ago when i uh, tried to do the reverse image search it was saying that hrithik roshan in you know like 2018 or something something like that i don't remember but now see maybe within the uh, span of like 5 to 6 days it has changed so that's why don't try to you know like give some sort of information oh this is how the search engine works you cannot know you can just have an idea you have to uh, do that with trial and error method please understand the technology so that you can do better oh sent so this is about the cleanup pictures and this is how you can harness this to enhance the quality of uh, reverse image search and another thing that i found was a uh, search for faces and it says uh, some facial recognition and stuff let's see so search for faces the interface is pretty normal and uh, it's good i like uh, the interfaces which are very minimal and which doesn't take like lot of you know ads for javascript space for ads for javascript so search for faces is a reverse face uh, search engine that can help you to uh, all the things you know like find photos of a person and it says at the moment four databases have been uh, partially or completely collected avatars of the social network uh, we contacted it's a famous uh, social media in uh, russia and main photos of social media network like um, odno klana uh, odnok lasniki odnok lasniki and uh, profile photos of a uh, social network we can talk to avatars of tiktok users avatars of uh, club house users uh, you can uh, test this website uh, i have tried this website i don't have a we can talk to account i have tried this with uh, some of the uh, club house pictures in the past but i didn't get uh, proper results but you can always uh, try it out and it seems to be a kind of um, project which is developed by some individuals uh, it is not connected to the giants like google or yandex or something and there are many projects like this uh, even you can also build your own open source project and you can give it out for the people for free if uh, for free if you are working in the space of um, artificial intelligence and that kind of stuff uh, ml artificial intelligence and image recognition ocr technologies you can create it and it says that proceed to search if i proceed and it will take me to so my add-ons are brutal they are blocking like lot of things so here you can try to upload the image and uh, yeah this is one thing you can also try to estimate the age and you can try to specify the gender as well so that uh, their system in the background try to process that properly so search for images.com you can try in order to find we can talk to or you know tiktok or you know like clubhouse avatars and it saves total faces uh, all these numbers and processed 18.38 data collection period and you can also read about all these things successful searches it's only 10.52% as i told you like uh, even the clubhouse yeah it was like very minimal i couldn't find uh, much more data so search for faces you can use it in order to reverse image search so now there is another similar looking website and it's called kamadk.com and it was also not very effective uh, i tried this uh, and it says oh it is saying secure site not available okay i am taking the risk for you people you know okay checking if the site connection is secure oh my so this is how it looks and it is also uh, very minimal and i think uh, my add ons are also blocking some of the things so it says reverse image search for reddit.com and it also says it's in beta and i tried it uh, maybe like 5 to 6 uh, images i tried to find it from the reddit there was no uh, fruit 
you can upload an image uh, from here or you can also try to you know like uh, go to a reddit page and try to search that image maybe uh, let me try to show you i'll go to reddit yeah i was in this uh, picture like drawings so Yeah, you can grab some URL from here. My add-ons are doing their job, but also blocking a lot of things. So anyway, uh, you can take any image from the Reddit and you can try to find it here. Uh, I didn't get like a lot of results. Uh, and it also has this uh, thing that found two similar images. I think these are the uh, searches done by other people and it is uh, kind of keeping uh, some data. It tries to query. So let me see what can I do like copy link. I'm just copying this link uh, and I'm going to Karma DK and let me try to search checking if the site connection is secure. Yes, I'm a human, I think so. Oh. What is it? Boat. <laughs> okay. Okay, again, boat. Is this a boat or a luxury yacht? Connection is secure, proceeding. Oh, sorry, it didn't give me any results. So it says unable to find an image. Yeah, this particular image. Yeah, and even I have tried to upload some images from my computer, it did not work, but you can you can always uh, take a bet and you can try who knows you can find some image uh, it totally depends on your luck and also the back uh, the back end of karma dk how it processes things so after karma dk the most awaited will go to uh, pim eyes Okay, PIM eyes is brutal. Uh, I think most of the people already know this. Uh, it is one of the efficient face recognition reverse image search, I can say. As I told you, uh, it doesn't implement CBIR technology that I already told you that is content-based uh, image retrieval pro uh, query or process. So it implements its own, you know, like sophisticated artificial intelligence and machine learning or neural network model. Uh, it is nearly accurate in finding faces or according to my experience uh, so and it is also very brutal and many negative articles have also been written uh, about PIMIS you can go to BBC and read some articles it's like um, let's say you uh, you are a victim of something something very um, yeah uh, very uh, brutal and uh, you want to remove your uh, images from the internet and you uh, took some help from uh, the law enforcement or you just uh, took some help from a techie and you tried to uh, delete all your information and images uh, from your website and after that uh, even at that time this pim eyes has recognized a person and uh, yeah that is something scary and creepy so let's see this um, face uh, this pim eyes in action so i'm going to images and uh, maybe okay let's try to look for uh Hrithik's image and obviously it will find but i'll also tell you uh, one of the nice features of pim eye. i don't want to talk all negative about pim eye. and it says okay safe search uh, deep search I accept the terms and condition. I don't know, I'm giving my data. And it has recognized only the face. And I think this is what makes it more efficient, okay? It just does this one particular thing uh, beautifully. Uh, safe search, I don't want to enable. Maybe I want to enable deep search only for advanced users. I'm not an advanced user. Uh, 
ओके इवन इफ यू आर नॉट एन एडवांस्ड यूजर आई मीन लाइक इफ यू हैवन टेकन एनी सब्सक्रिप्शन इट वर्क मे बी आई थिंक इट विल गिव यू सम टेन और लाइक ट्वेंटी सर्चेज पर मंथ और समथिंग लाइक दैट बट आई टेल यू एन इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ दिस जस्ट वेट एंड वॉच ऑब्वियसली इट फाउंड ऋतिक रोशन पिक्चर्स एंड इट ऑल्सो गिवस द uh website links i think when you click on that link it will ask you to pay some money which i'm not going to do yeah and this is important thing about this search engine or an artificial intelligence based reverse search engine so where was that image yeah see now uh, it can show you different results where this image has been used even uh, i'm sure that the other search engines uh, they will also uh, guide you to the website where that image was found or something they will try to spider or crawl through that website but uh, this is next level it means maybe from google or yandex maybe you can find like 10 to 15 links but here you are getting like lot of images and now yeah this is the feature that i absolutely loved and uh, that is it also kind of try to uh, locate the image and maybe i'm not sure this image was in this ceremony as well maybe it has taken in a different angle or something but i'm not sure and this is also another feature that i liked about uh, pimize for example uh, if the same image is used by some other people maybe they want to write an article or maybe they want to uh, make some youtube video and if they want to use as thumbnails even it is able to detect that kind of images as well and that is really interesting and creepy uh, let's say even if it doesn't provide any link uh, if you want if you click on that link uh, if it is asking for money but still you can try to uh, guess you can read this uh, it says like loveexpands.com probably and you can directly you know type like loveexpands.com and you can find the source of that image so this is how helpful and creepy this uh, pim eyes is so we are done with pim eyes and what's remaining okay and there is also something called as reverse image uh, .net reverse search image uh, .net so the same thing you can upload an url you can uh, search it by keyword and you can also upload the image from your dropbox or a google drive link it will also try to search for the image 